You can bring up the main program screen by double clicking on the Avira system tray icon. A beginner friendly feature of the program is that the status screen will tell you if any of the services it would expect to be running have a problem. And there's a prominent button to press to get help to fix the problem. We have two issues. I switched off real-time protection and it's saying that we haven't updated today. Clicking OK will turn on real-time protection again for you. It may fix the problems one issue at a time, so you may have to click it more than once. The second click is starting an update. On the configuration screen, for advanced users, there are many settings which can fine tune the way that the program runs for you. For beginners, there's a one click button which simplifies all the options. Like most antivirus programs, Avira can be set to update automatically so that you don't have to think about it to keep it working well. You can choose how frequently you want it to update. Here it's set to once a week and I'm adjusting it to update daily so that you can be sure that you're always running with the latest virus definitions.